Welcome to this segment of the program. Inuagata Nosahai is still my name, and this morning we are going to be looking at the topic five brand attributes that create positive brand personality. Five brand attributes that create positive brand personality. You know, positive brand personality is that reputation level your business gets to, whereby positive human attributes are ascribed or linked to that business. And one challenge we have in our environment today is that there are so many brand errors, so many brand, you know, uh, uh, blunders. And the, bland, the brand blunder and brand errors we see in our business environment is that many businesses have the capacity to draw attention. They have the color splash. They have the bright logos. They have the aesthetics and visuals to draw attention, but they now have you know, they lack the required attributes to be able to retain, you know, attention, you know, retain the patronage of customers. That is where there is serious lacuna. And this is as a result of them not having this positive brand personality. And this morning, the focus is five brand attributes to create positive brand personality for your business. The first one is the brand attribute of caring. The brand attribute of caring. People, customers, they love to patronize businesses with human face. Customers love to patronize businesses that resonate positive emotions. Now, businesses that have human face, businesses that resonate positive emotion, will always be a business, you know, that will continue to bring in customers' patronage, that will continue to bring in customers' traction, because why? They are caring. People like, love to patronize places that they feel loved. You know, people love to patronize places where they feel as kings that they are because they are customers. They are the source of cash flow. You know, somebody said that nobody really care how much you know until they know how much you care. So possessing the brand attributes of caring will give you that positive brand personality that will give you that point of differentiation, that POD in the industry. You know, you are playing your business gaming. This is so important. The next one is the brand attribute of honesty. You know, remember the Nigeria Pledge. There is that amazing line. I pledge to Nigeria, my country, to be faithful, loyal, and honest. You know, honest, the, the brand attribute of honesty will ensure that you do not overpromise and underdeliver. You don't promise 10 and deliver six, 10 minus 6. No. This is the word you have put out there that this is what you can do and you, can, you will actually deliver on what you have promised. This is so important. You know, you don't advertise what you don't have the capacity to deliver. This is what you have the capacity for. If you cannot deliver it on your own, if you cannot deliver it by partnering with someone else, if you cannot deliver it by outsourcing, there is no need to advertise it. This is where honesty stands you out in your industry and give you that positive brand personality that will make sure you continue to attract customers' patronage and then just advance yourself forward. The third one is the brand attribute of friendliness. The brand attribute of friendliness. You know, any organization, any business that is always friendly will continue to have friends. And what I, what I mean by they are, they are continue to have friends is that they will continue to have customer patronage. A wise man said that, you know, anybody that will have many friends must first of all be friendly. You need that brand attribute to stand you out. Then the fourth one is the brand attribute of empathy. Empathy. Empathy is not just all about placing yourself in people's shoes to understand their pains. It's also about understanding their frustration, feeling their frustrations. This is so important. Now, what empathy will do for you is that it will bring out the human being in you that will help you resolve customers' complaints, resolve their issues, and you'll be able to take things forward for yourself. Now, the concluding one, which is the fifth one, is the brand attribute of creative problem solving. Now, this is very simple. It's all about going beyond the norm, going beyond the, the expected to be able to make sure that you solve problems for customers in creative ways, not the usual way. This is the normal thing you do, but you now have this creative approach that will make sure that any problem they have is always resolved. And you are in business. 
to solve problems. This is so important. I believe that lots of value have been added to you today, and it's okay you reach me. That is why my phone numbers have been on the screen. The first one is 080-66-865060. 08066865060. The second one is there as well. It's 08052929120. No, it's very key that you reach me and then so that we can have a session with you with your people and be able to take things to the next level for your business and organization. I'll be seeing you next week Wednesday. And when I return, I will say be there and be able. Inoagata no sahai. God bless you.